Okay, so let's look at question seven where we have to plot a graph and then uh, figure out what our, um, basically our values are going to be here. And again, we're also going to probably be looking at rates, um, especially if this is a linear question. So what it says here is that there were 889 fires on May 6th, okay, and 4,168 by July 1st. Okay, so we have a couple of data points here. We have a point here that says 889 um, May 6, and then we have 4168 on July 1st. Okay, now draw a graph for the situation, rounding the number of fires to the nearest hundred. Okay, so that lets us um, take a number like 889 and make it into 900 over the span in days. So they've given us dates, but they haven't given us number of days. Okay, so that's what we're, we're looking to plot here. Number of days would be on our Y, or sorry, our X axis. And this would be number of fires. And that would be our Y axis. So <clears throat> what we could assume is that when we started collecting this data, that would be our first data point. So that means May 6th would be the zero point, zero number of days. Because we're not really going to be plotting the dates, we're just going to be plotting the, the number of days between certain data points. So that means May 6th is our day zero. Okay, so we can set that up as May 6th equals day zero. Okay, and on day zero we had approximately 900 fires. So we'll just have to divide this up somehow. <clears throat> Let's see every five points here. So two, so that's going to be, let's say that that's a thousand fires right there every five. So then we'll go up another five, two, three, that's going to give us 2000. And then we'll go up another five that will give us uh, 3000 and one more set of fives just to give us a little space. That'll be 4000. Okay, so that means we're going to plot about 900. So that would, we can just say that's just a point just under 1,000, just right there. Then the next thing we need to know is that on July 1st, so July 1st, we had, um, how many days would that be away from May 6th? So that is almost about two months. So the trick with this question is calculating about how many days away uh, we are with this. So a little more than 60 days. So we can say it's, I, I'm not sure exactly. We can calculate it if you want to plug it in, but May 6th to July 6th would be um, close to 60 days, maybe just a little more because I think there's 31 days there. So let's, let's just say it's like maybe around 62 days. Okay, we're just, we're just trying to sort of figure out an approximate number here. Um, actually, if we do calculation, it's actually 63 days here. So we might as well make that accurate. 63 days between May 6th and July 1st. Okay, July 1st. Uh, May, so May 6th to July 1st is going to give us 63 days. So then let's just plot that point out here. So um, we could plot out maybe in groups of 20 days. Um, so let's just go maybe every four here is 20. So this will give us 40 and then this will give us 60. And then this will give us 80 and we'll go out to about 100 here. Okay, so it doesn't, again, it doesn't really matter. Now you could, you could plot this in a graphing tool like Desmos will let you plot um, points, but um, we're just gonna probably do a rough one here. So day zero, we had 889, 63 days later. So just beyond that, we had roughly 40, uh, we could round that up to say 4,200 um, points here. So let's uh, go in groups of a thousand. our point would be about 4,200. So we would have maybe 60, maybe about right there. Okay. So then we could draw a line connecting those two together and figure out what our slope would be. Um, 
and then it asks us to plot when we get certain values here. So let's just take that as our first line. Just kind of sketch a line that goes up like that. Okay, and then what we would need to do if we look at our next question, that's, that's how we would plot the graph. Our next question says, determine the daily rate of fires. So the rate of fires, okay, so remember rate is implying we have a slope. Okay, so slope is rise over run. Okay, and in this case, we can just use our two points here. Um, we know this is kind of a linear graph. So we know that on um, the rise is the number of fires. So we had 4,100. So we had 4,168 fires on July 1st. And then we started with a total of 889 on May, um, May 6th. So that means for 63 days, um, we at, at, in 63 days we had 4,100 fires, and on day zero we had 889. So this would be how we would calculate our our slope. Okay, and we work this out. Uh, we because we got the numbers here, we can do this exact, which is going to be 32.79 divided by 63, which is approximately 52 fires per day. Okay, that tells us how many fires were started each day as it kept kept going. And on which day did the number of wildfires equals 2,000 and 4,000? So we would just read that right off the graph. Because we have our two points, um, we can say that our 2,000 fire happened around day 20. So 2,000 fires, okay, on about day and then 4,000 fires happen just before 60 days. Um, so we can say 4,000 fires um, on about, uh, we could do it exactly about day 58 or 59. Okay, just before 60 days. Okay, so that's how we would look at doing those two questions. Um, it's basically a slope question again. So plotting the graph is important. Um, I think the trick in this question was just to figure out what the x axis is. And it's not, we're not plotting dates, we're plotting intervals of days um, given the dates. So we would just say May 6th is day zero, um, July 1st, um, you can approximate it, you know, about 60 days or so away, um, and then just get what out of those two points, you draw your line and then calculate your slope. And then once you have your line, you can estimate the value of, of the numbers here. Okay, so that's how we would work through that question. Um, and then for D, if we needed to go further, you would need to extend your line to 7,000. So we might have to, I don't know if we have enough space on this graph, um, you might have to uh, take that out a little bit longer or rework the scale. But 7,000 would just be a point higher up on the line and it would tell you how about how many days it would be there. Okay, so that's how that question would work.